Good morning. Welcome to Vlogrel. Day 25. It's 4.45 a.m. Um, I'm headed to Fort Kent, Maine today, which begins with a very early flight to Boston. And because it's across the border, I have to be at the airport two hours before the flight. So my flight's at 8.35, and my car's picking me up here at 6. Denise and Pearl are asleep in the bed behind me, and the boys are in their beds, so I'm going to just start slowly getting ready. I never ever sleep well the night before I travel. I hate that because it's the time when you need rest the most, but for some reason, I don't know if it's like I'm scared I'm going to sleep in or what, but I just, I wake up every 15 minutes, so anyway, I'm taking you with me. So, it's now 5.30. Everybody's up. I'm pretty much ready. I'm just taking advantage of uh, the last few minutes of being stretched out. Um, as you know, when I'm seated upright, the hips get very sore, and this will be a long day. I think I land in Presque Isle at 3.30 this afternoon, and then there's, I think, an hour, an hour and a half drive to get up to Fort Kent from there, so... It's going to be around 5 o'clock by the time I can straighten out. And actually, maybe not even then, because the committee that's hired me wants to take me to dinner. And that's lovely. I, I always appreciate that. But it is a long, hard day for me. So I'm hoping that the painkillers are going to do their thing. So, yeah, I will try to check in with you when I get to the airport and go through the lovely customs situation. So I'm at my gate. I am thrilled to be coming off the road because I can't do much more of this. Um, I've got still about 30 minutes to go before the flight takes off and as in every airport, check it out. It's amazing how people just do not give a shit about it. Anyway, um, I take pictures at every airport I go to. People probably don't know that they're on my Instagram. So I've got, yeah, I think it's going to be about a half hour till board. And uh, then I'll be on my way. I'm all aboard. It's uh, 8.10, so I should be in Boston within, I think, a couple hours. Got the front seat. safe and sound in the Boston airport. I didn't want to tell you guys this morning because I don't like to be like belly achy on this, but whoa, my hernia popped just as I arrived at the airport. That was the most painful morning ever. That's the most painful it's ever been. I, I was, uh, I'm proud that I got any vlogging in because it was a rough going. But comically, just as we were landing, the plane kind of jolted and it tossed me back and it just must have moved me the right way and it started to subside, so. Thank God. So I have quite a layover. I hate that when other people book my flights. Um, like I never let this much time go in between because I know how shitty it makes the travel day. So I arrived here at 10 o'clock, well 10.30, and it's now 11.30 and my flight doesn't board till one. So I've got some time. I'm just trying to rehydrate, getting some water into me. Surprised at how small the Boston airport is. I expected it to be bigger. It's about the size of Halifax. Um, yeah, and then I'm flying to Presque Isle from here. Hey, sorry I didn't vlog on the in-between. Um, I got on the smallest plane ever. Actually, not the smallest. I flew on a smaller plane than that when I was down in New Zealand. But it was um, pretty small, pretty tight. And I had to put my bag, I had to check it at the door. So like I didn't even have my camera with me. And then Nicole, who's the person that booked me, picked me up. And we drove the hour and a half from Presque Isle to get up here to Fort Kent. So that's where I am now. And it's pretty rustic. It's a pretty, you know, like old school kind of hotel, motel. 
nicest one in town apparently um and i'm just gonna chill for an hour and then she's coming back to get me and i'm gonna go out to dinner with a few of the committee members and her i really really like her she's a PhD. she has a phd in french studies which is pretty cool and um yeah so far so good y'all hey there so i'm back at my room it's about nine o'clock at night uh, they took me to dinner and I didn't vlog there because it was like the whole committee that had hired me. So a bunch of professors from the university and their spouses, it, it just didn't feel right, if you know what I mean, to pull the camera out. So I am dead dog tired. When I go to little places like this, this happens a lot. My Wi-Fi is crappy. It's like, feels like dial-up. Um, so I can't watch anything on my computer, so I turned on the TV because I'm actually too tired to read. You know I'm tired when. And I see the voices on, so I'm going to watch a little bit of it. I just wash my face, and then maybe after, um, when it's time to turn the light, I'll read a little bit because I'm finally reading the second book in Harry Potter. So... Denise read them as they came out. She got right into it. I never, ever did. It was only after I started reading J.K. Rowling's adult work, uh, her Galbraith books, and uh, Casual Vacancy, that I've like, I was like, okay, i got to go back and read them because I really love her adult writing. So anyway, I'm dead dog tired. I'm going to go to sleep. Thank you so much for watching. I Don't hit stop. Tomorrow we'll be all in the same vlog. I'm going to put all three days in the same vlog. So, good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Welcome to Vlog World Day 26. It's a beautiful, sunny day here in Fort Kent, Maine. Um, I got up at around 6. I didn't really sleep well. I never sleep well in a hotel. And I uh, got myself all ready. Now I'm going to go down the hallway and have a little continental breakfast. And then they're picking me up at 10 to 8, and I'm speaking at 8.30. I'll take you with me. Well, that'll explain my bloodshot eyes. I'm an hour early. I, I don't understand. I have to check into the time thing. But when I landed in Presque Isle, I was an hour ahead of Toronto time. So I was obviously in Atlantic time there, no longer Eastern time. But then when we came here, it must have switched back. But my phone is still pinging off a Canadian tower. So it's either that it switched back, it's either that we've driven back over the... the timeline or uh, this might be one of those places that don't recognize the daylight savings time. Either way, I'm sitting out there going, gee, she's late. You know, she's supposed to be here at 10 to 8. What's happening? And then the girls were like, uh, well, it's only 7. So I'm just back, back in the room. Alrighty, so I'm at the venue in the dressing room and apparently, yeah, they are uh, Eastern time, not Atlantic. So now I know. Hey there, um, I am recovered from a sleep. I even kept my false lashes on and I slept most of the day, so I feel much better now. Um, in about an hour and a half, they're coming to get me for a reception that's happening. And then there's a movie after. I don't think I'm going to stay for the movie. I'm just going to uh, stay for the reception and then come back. Uh, so I will try to get some footage in when I'm over there. Hopefully I'll be able to. Yo, 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 what's up? Sorry, could not tape in there. Um, it's just kind of hard when I'm on professional gigs to film with you. Because, uh, you know, you know how it is. So imagine trying to film at your work. Um, anyway, it was a really nice evening. I got to see a short film that a bunch of students had made. As well as Nicole, the woman who booked me here. I got some great feedback from students. We're in the presentation this morning and from staff, so it was lovely. So I'm now chilling out in my hotel room. I am wearing this face mask. Samantha, this is the last of them that you sent me. Thank you so much for sending me these. I've so thoroughly enjoyed them. This one is pre-party prep. Uh, Brighten, prime, and energize. It's a hydrating mask. So I'm enjoying the feeling of it. And I'm just going to slowly get packed. Nicole's picking me up for breakfast in the morning and then driving me to Presque Isle so that I arrive at the airport for 11 for a 12 o'clock flight. So I hope you have had a lovely day. I hope your weather was as beautiful as it was here. And I will see you and Denise tomorrow. Can't wait. Good morning. How are you now? 
It is Vlog Girl Day 27, the third and final day of this mashup uh, vlog. I am leaving Fort Kent this morning. I'm sorry I haven't seen much more than the hotel room. I, I'm not sure uh, how other YouTubers do it. I think part partly the problem for me is that I walk on a cane and I'm, you know, I, I'm a woman so I have a purse or a bag usually, which leaves me no hands free for the phone. So when I'm not with Denise, it's hard for me to get like kind of moment to moment cover. But hopefully you enjoyed coming with me anyway. Uh, I am going to check out here in about an hour. And uh, then Nicole is taking me for breakfast at a place she really likes here. And then we'll make the hour and 15 minute drive back to Presque Isle, Maine, where I will catch my flight to Boston. Word on the news is that in southern Maine this morning, there is a snowstorm, like cars are off the road and everything, on April 27th. And I saw a picture of a friend of mine in Halifax covered in snow, and the news is also saying Newfoundland is having a big storm today. So I am thankful that here, I don't know if the light will adjust there for my camera, but there you go. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Fort Kent. So yeah, I'm pretty much all packed up. I've just got my cosmetic bag to put back in and I'll be ready to hit the road. I cannot wait to see Denise. Oh my goodness. I have a friend who goes by Lady K on her um, her public site and her husband Ian is in the Navy and Denise and I think about them all the time because when I go on the road like this, I'm gone like two days, sometimes three. The rare times that it's longer, like I did a a gig once, a string of gigs where I was gone for six days. Like I was calling her the n last couple nights crying on the phone before getting home. And Ian gets posted and sent out to sea for six months at a time. And they only have one child and she's like an adult now. She's a nurse, so no longer living at home. And I don't know how they do it. Like I just, I've been away from Denise now for, I mean technically, three days, but not really because I saw her on Monday when she dropped me off. Yesterday's the only day that I haven't seen her and I'll see her again today, but like I'm heartbroken. I can't wait to see her. So to everybody who's got people in the military and you deal with that, like kudos to you. Thank you for making that sacrifice because um, I just, I don't know how you do it. I, it's it's so hard. So anyway, I just, for some reason, I've been thinking about that this morning because I just know what it's like for me when I'm away from Denise from any amount of time. So uh, I am going to pack up my last few little things i got to do and we're going to go check out. So I can't believe I dropped the ball again. Um, I didn't vlog at breakfast and I'm sure Nicole would have been fine with it. I really want you guys to meet her because she's a very lovely person and she took such good care of me. But anyway, we took a picture even together, a selfie, and I still didn't think about the fact that I wanted to get her on the vlog. But anyway, uh, I'm at the Prescott Airport now. It's very small. I don't know if you can see out through that window, see if it'll adjust to the light. No, I don't think it's going to. Let's see if I can zoom in. Because the tiny little plane that I'm about to get on is out there. No. It just doesn't want to pick up. Anyway, it's a super small plane, but this will bring me one leg closer to Denise. Okay, so I made it from Prescott to Boston. Now I've got like a three hour or four hour wait until my next flight. So I'm sitting down having a snack. I'm enjoying a lemon drop martini, some water, reading Harry Potter. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous avons terminé l'embarquement et nous allons bientôt décoller. Vous venez d'entendre le sang de votre directeur de bord aujourd'hui sur le vol 356 en partant. Hey guys, so we are, or I should say I am back. Sorry I didn't vlog the final stages of getting home. It got very crazy because Denise texted me that we had a place to look at. So I had to like quickly get through customs, jump in a car, uh, get zoomed home where I didn't even come in. She just met me at the back door, jumped in our car, went downtown, looked at a place. We love it. We have applied, but there are, there's someone else that sort of beat us to it. But we're hoping that we, there's still a chance we're going to get it. If we get it, we're going to be so happy. And then we have to ask this place if we can move out a month early if we do get it. Because 
they want um, June 1st as the move-in date. So, very exciting. So that's it. I'm going to wrap this vlog up. And uh, we'll catch you probably tomorrow.